Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing of the February Birch box. So I have the box here and it is the Shine Bright Like a Diamond box. And I really really like the design of this month's box and there's some really really good products in here. I've already tried a couple of them so I can tell you about them and there are some that I haven't tried yet that I'm going to try later. So I'm going to unbox everything and show you what I got and as usual it comes in the little cloth bag that you normally get and there are three makeup items this month and two skincare items. So I'll start with the most exciting thing that I thought was in the box and it's a makeup brush from Spectrum. Now I've um, seen these on Instagram before and I always thought they looked really really nice. I was really happy to get one of these in my box and it's shaped kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury um, brush that I use for my contour so I'm really excited to give this a go. I did almost try it but then I thought I would save it and show it to you clean for the video. It's got a pink wooden handle which is really really um, smooth and shiny. It's really really nice to hold. It has a nice weight to it and then it has the um, sort of tip bit and then the brush. The brush is synthetic but it's super soft. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, the Kiko brushes I have and stuff. It's really really nice quality. Obviously I haven't tried it yet but I'm really really impressed and I love the colours of it. I think it's just such a lovely brush and I was happy to get this in my box. Next thing is the other exciting product and this is by LOC which I think is Love of Colour. Um, this is Birchbox's own uh, makeup brand that they launched this month. And it's one of those um, chubby stick eye crayon things that I really really like. And I've used this on my eyes today and then in the outer corner I've just blended a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury one which is kind of like a, um, a rusty red colour. This is really really beautiful, it's very very pigmented, it's got quite a lot of glitter in it um, but it's a really really nice rich like coppery gold colour and it's one that you sharpen, it's not fit in any sort of big sharpener and I really really like this, I'm very very impressed. Um, when I saw they were bringing it out I was a bit worried that the pigmentation might not be very good or it might not be as good as some of the other ones I've tried but it's really really nice and I really really like this and it's definitely a colour I'll get a lot of use out of uh, especially into the summer as well this will look really really nice with like tan skin and a bit of bronzer so I'm really really happy to get that in my box. Next thing is something else I've tried and it's the Frats Boy blush from The Balm and I've put a little bit of this in my cheeks today and this is my nude. Um, which is really really nice, it's good for travelling. I'm going to New York this summer and I plan on buying quite a lot of makeup while in there so this will be the kind of thing that I'll take with me. It's going to take up next to no room in my makeup bag and it's a really, really nice colour as well. I applied it with a sort of smallish fluffy brush and I just applied a bit at the time and I found it was fine to apply it like that from this little tiny pan and it's really really pigmented as well so you really didn't need much at all. Um, so yeah, I was really really happy with that and it's just a cute little sample um, to try. You could also use it as an eyeshadow if you wanted, it does say you could do that. Um, I wouldn't really wear a pink as an eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, I really really like this. Next thing is a skincare product from Ole Henriksen which is a brand that I've heard loads of things about. Loads of people giving it good reviews and I've heard about their makeup wipes stuff before and masks. And this is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster Vitamin C Complex Facial Serum and you apply this in the morning and then follow with moisturiser it says. I haven't tried it yet but I'm really really excited to. I've heard so many good reviews of this brand and it's something that I've always wanted to try and I like that it's a really really cute little bottle as well. Um, I suspect this will probably last me a while because I have kind of like combination skin so I don't use too much um, moisturisers but I'm really excited to give this a go and see what I think of it. Next is a body lotion from I think you pronounce it Kashin. Um, I might be totally wrong there, but this is the Water Hyacinth of Lime Blossom Body Lotion. And what I really, really like about this is kind of novelty, but the packaging looks like a really, really luxury um, screw off lid, but it's actually a little um, it flips up. So I thought that was really, really nice. It smells kind of fresh, kind of natural. Um, it smells really, really nice. Um, I've never heard of the brand before and I haven't tried it, but I like the packaging and it smells nice. And last is a makeup remover wipe. Um, I'm really not gonna <laughs> attempt to pronounce that, but it's by Derm Eyes Oplic Optical Care, and this is for sensitive eyes and delicate eyelids, and for contact lens users, and it's just a makeup remover wipe. Um, I'm gonna save this actually, because I thought this would be really, really useful on the plane when I go on holiday, because it's just one single package wipe. And yeah, I thought it was a useful extra. So I'm really, really impressed with everything that I got in my Birchbox this month. 
I do really, really love getting them every month, but this month I feel um, was a particularly good one, especially with that makeup brush and the eyeshadow sticks. I really hope we get more of them in the future. But yeah, um, I'll leave a link below if you want to go subscribe to Birchbox yourself, and I'll also leave links to the products I've mentioned as well. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!